We're back in the port of Guam and we're getting ready for our next expedition. The plan is to depart Guam and then head back to Challenger Deep and dive in the western pool and then to the Yap Trench where we'll do hopefully the first crude descent of that trench and then the Palau Trench where we will hopefully do the same. Dr. Don Wright is the chief scientist for ESRI, a multi-billion dollar geospatial intelligence firm and she does a lot of their uh, projects involving mapping on the land as well as at the sea. So she'll be accompanying me down to the bottom of the western pool of Challenger Deep and operating this new sonar system that we have that we will be testing for the first time a side scan sonar at the very bottom of the ocean. My name is Dawn Wright. I'm the chief scientist of uh, ESRI, which is also called the Environmental Systems Research Institute and also a professor of geography and oceanography at Oregon State University. And a lot of people call me Deep Sea Dawn. We have to have the ocean in order to live on this planet. Uh, every other breath that we take is because of the oxygen that is produced by the ocean. The fact that we can have, get all of our favorite streaming TV shows is because of submarine cables that stretch across vast distances on the ocean floor. Uh, the ocean gives us the food that we need, uh, it protects us, uh, it renews our spirit. It's important for just about every aspect of life on this planet. I have heard so much uh, about this ship and about this submersible. Challenger Deep, I think, is a microcosm of what we know and don't know about this planet. And so it's, it's just blowing my mind that I'll have a chance to, to go down with Victor and to do some higher resolution mapping of Challenger Deep uh, that's not been tried before, so, so that is pretty, pretty fantastic for me. After we dive the western pool to Challenger Deep with Dawn, we'll be heading over to the Yap Trench, and we're fortunate to have with us again Nicole Yamase, who was with me at Challenger Deep last year, but she is accompanying her fellow countryman, Cesario Sawaller, and uh, he will be diving with me, hopefully for the first crude descent of the Yap Trench, which is part of the Federated States of Micronesia. And then from there, we'll be heading to the Palau Trench. We'll all be diving with former president of Palau, uh, Raymond Gasau. One thing that was nice was at 7 a.m. here on Sunday, the governor of Guam came to give us a nice send off. We've been here multiple times. And if the pressure drop has a home port, I guess the place we have most frequented is here in Guam. So it was really nice to have her come by and wish us well and some other members of the local academic community that wanted to see the ship. My hopes for this expedition are multiple. First is at Challenger Deep, I would love to prove out that we have developed the first full ocean depth capable side scan sonar and also allow Dr. Don Wright the chance to see the Challenger Deep. And she's also the first African American that will go down to the Challenger Deep, which I think is great from an inclusivity standpoint. And then it'd be great to do the first crude descents of the Yap and Palau trenches, which have never been done before. And that involves the members of the local community, both Federated States of Micronesia and Palau, which I think is good, not just from a scientific standpoint, but also involving the local countries in the exploration of their own trenches. So good morning everyone, we're here to talk about dive 115, which is to the western pool of Challenger Deep, uh, the southern wall. So Victor, do you want to talk us through the plan of what you'd like to do? And Right, over the many dives that we've done at Challenger Deep, we've been to all three of the pools, the western, the central, and the eastern pool. The western pool is actually quite large, and we've only done three dives there, and all of them have been on the northern part of the area. We are, of course, going to be trying to take down for the first time ever a side scan sonar to full ocean depth. And Don, of course, you'll be operating the sonar, I'll be piloting. So that would be the plan. Uh, a little bit of complexity there. We'll iron out the wrinkles this afternoon. We'll have a team meeting at uh, five o'clock and tomorrow we'll go diving. Sounds good. All right. I'm so excited to be working with this deep ocean search side scan sonar. This is a prototype. This sonar is normally used to find shipwrecks, but not in waters deeper than 6,000 meters. And we are taking this instrument to full ocean depth all the way to the bottom of Challenger Deep. Just super cool. <laughs> You're welcome, you're welcome. Everything's I practiced good. yesterday. <laughs> 
Okay, clear the Roger, swimmer's clear, we're all good. We have a green board in here, beginning to pump in. There it is, starting to lighten up. It's the bottom of the ocean, darling. Here it is. Surface yes. LF depth 10904 at bottom. Repeat at bottom. Yeah! At bottom. <laughs> Congratulations. <gasps> Wow, what an image down there. The thank you, the thank You're you, welcome. Victor. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's obviously something. What is that? I don't know, we're going to find out real soon. Oh, it looks like a lightsaber. It's a bottle. It's a freaking bottle. Isn't that something? It's a bottle. As soon as we get here. Look, it's a freaking bottle. Wow. Okay, we're recording. Wow, we're operating the first side scan sonar at full ocean yeah, depth. Right. Challenger Deep. <laughs> So if you've ever wondered what the contour of a deep ocean trench looks like, mm. this yeah, is it. This is really cool. cool. Surface LF at Southern Wall. This is Flintstone's quarry. This is my yeah. quarry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, look at the drop off. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful one. The camera caught it. It's dead on. <laughs> Okay, would you like to do the honors? Yes. Let's go home. And you're just going to push that button backwards. Wow. And you're going to hear it go click. Okay. And surface weight has been released. Nope, okay. leave that one to 3,500 meters. And you can see we are going home. Oh, yes. Back up the uh, elevator. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, so this was uh, Dive to Challenger Deep, my 15th. So it was a technological test of the full ocean depth capable side scan sonar, and it was great. It actually worked perfectly. There were no issues. Yeah, it was terrific. Uh, geologically, from uh, that standpoint, I really enjoyed it because the boulder fields were fantastic. So now we're headed on our way to the Yap Trench which I believe might have had a very limited number of explorations and maybe not even necessarily to the very bottom, but we intend to go down in a human-occupied vehicle, myself and Master Navigator Cesario, and we are going to try and transect the entire length of the trench and then ascend a 1,000-meter vertical wall, which is about the same height as Yosemite, uh, El Capitan, in that park in the United States. So really excited to do that. Uh, Master Navigator Cesario Saraller is a native of Yap, although he currently lives in Palau, and he has a great history of working with surface navigation, which is kind of an ancestral expertise of his people here in Micronesia. So I thought it was very appropriate to have someone with such a strong tradition and culture from the area to be in the submersible when we make that first descent into what is their territory. And so not to include them, I think, would not have been appropriate. I am Cesario Seorolur. I am from the other island of Yap, the island of Setawal. I am more than happy and I'm very excited to share this with our generations, um, especially to continue to discover what's under or below our ocean, to carry on as we uh, preserve, we want to preserve as much as we can and you know, protect our ocean. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Well, well done. Thank you. There it is. There's the bottom. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Congratulations. The bottom Thank of the Yap you. Trench. The first two We're people. Here. The first two people to ever yeah. see the Yap Trench. It's not soft sand like in the Mariana Trench. Yeah. It's much rockier, but we're close. To, but we're close to the slope. There he is. Oh wow. He's on a slope. He's on a slope? Yeah. Oh, there you are. So that's navigation underwater. Now we're going to do a high speed transit. We're going to need to stay off the bottom. Go fast. Oh, okay. There's some bare rock. Oh, there's some uh, little sea anemones. 
Oh, I'm not a starfish. Oh, oh. that's good. <laughs> Cameras might get it. And now I'm going to just stay off the wall, and now we're going to go up pretty fast. That's that's pretty steep and rocky. Yeah. I would want to climb a lot of rocks. All right, sir. I think we're we're low on batteries now. Okay. Surface LF depth seven niner one five. Surface weight released. Ascending. Sent to the Yap Trench by human beings. There are no words that can describe how proud I am of Cesario. A very wise and knowledgeable man, a vessel of traditional knowledge. Well, last year, this canoe, I also brought it down last year in honor of Papa Mao, a master navigator who, who is the Micronesian who went to Hawaii and taught them how to navigate again. For Cesario, his son, to bring it down again in honor of him, it's, it's remarkable and it's just a, a feeling that I just can't describe. Uh, Palau is an independent country that's in the Western Pacific that is just south of the Federated States of Micronesia. It has a very proud tradition and culture. So now we're headed off to Palau to hopefully meet up with former President Raymond Gasau and accompany him to the very bottom of the Palau Trench, which is a little bit shallower than the Ab Trench, but we don't believe there's ever been a human descent of that particular area. So uh, I'm, a, I'm an island boy from uh, Palau and 1% uh, land, 99% uh, ocean. Well, this is something uh, I know I, I shared with my fellow Palawan brothers and sisters. That it's something we all think about and don't know about it. But this would be an opportunity for me to uh, get a glimpse of what's happening or what it is down there. Because the ocean is so important for all of us. Uh, I'm definitely positive that everybody is uh, want to know what the uh, result of this dive is and I'm willing to share with them uh, whatever uh, we're able to discover down there. Perfect. Surface, this is the LF. We have a closed hatch, life support is engaged. The green board, the life support is engaged. Surface, yes. LF, life support good. At bottom. At bottom. Yeah! yeah. All right! Yeah! We're in the middle of the Palau Trench. So this is the first human descent. So All right. congratulations, uh, Donald. Yeah. Well Thank done. you, Vic. Congratulations well to you. A little bit more wildlife here than mm. I've seen in deeper trenches, but similar. Yeah, I definitely saw some human contamination. Mm. That it looked like a plastic sheet. Surface LF eight zero zero seven at clasp at clasp. A lot of amphipods. Mm. See him on the bait. I think he's eating the bait on this. Oh line. yeah, there's a lot of amphipods. Mm. Very dense. Okay, now we're heading to the wall this way. Okay. Mm -mm. It's interesting, in this trench, and at this depth of 8,000, we're definitely seeing those bottom dwellers, the uh, the creatures that are poking out of the uh, thing. I don't, I don't see that at the Yap Trench or the Mariana. Have you ever been uh, attacked by a giant shrimp? No. <laughs> I was hoping <laughs> that would be exciting. I'd like yeah. that. A giant squid, maybe? Oh, a giant squid. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yep, definitely. This is the wall. Yep. See, look at it here. Mm -hmm. yeah, just, yeah, look, look at that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a mm. form. What is that? What is that? What is that? It's a jelly. Oh, a jelly. Oh, oh, that was a beautiful jelly. Yeah. That was a beautiful, big oh, jelly. Wow. Well, if you've ever wondered what's on the bottom of the sea floor, I know. Now you know. No, I know. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's a pleasure, man. This is a historical moment for anybody. 
First oh descent to the Palau Trench. Yeah. Dive to the Palau Trench ever by human beings. Yeah. Tommy of Palau and myself. He's Most... a fellow Palauan now, too. Yeah. <laughs> At the conclusion of our dive today to the Palau Trench, it looks like we're going to have a celebration of sorts on the mainland of Palau, where a lot of the government officials will be there the current president, other congressmen, some people from the judiciary. So it'll be a, a great celebration of us doing something jointly with Palau to continue to research the oceans and bring greater awareness to the, uh, the challenges that they face. Well, I'm very happy with the expedition that we just completed, diving to the western pool of Challenger Deep with Dr. Wright, then the first human descent to the bottom of the Yap Trench, and then the first human descent to the bottom of the Palau Trench. What we're all about is exploration and using this incredible system and developing new technologies to explore the deep ocean is extremely rewarding and hopefully we will have captured a lot of new information that our scientific team can analyze and then bring to the rest of the world and hopefully share what we've learned. <laughs>